Hi Graham, this is John Smith from TransXL. I said I'd do a sort of brief video so you could visualize and see the extent of what the equipment would look like. Uh, this is a typical board line, the one that we would be proposing in this instance, depending on what's available at a later date, we might change that. But you have a, a primary extruder, which is what this one is. Uh, it's about a, a 200 kilowatt um, a DC motor, so it's got a reasonable amount of uh, power because some of the materials you've got fractional melt uh, polyethylenes are quite stiff and this screw and barrel are designed to cope with exactly that so you have the extruder uh, you have a drive panel here a temperature panel and these all control the extruder you have a gear pump here which regulates the flow and gives the consistent output this is a co-extruder which you're unlikely to need but some people do have that so you can put a, a different layer capping on it uh, difficult to do with thicker sheet, but it, it's still an, uh, an option. This is the die head. So this was what delivers the different thicknesses. Um, so it's about 1400 wide. And with the losses, it means you'll finish off at about 12, 1300, which is what you need, the four foot wide. There are different lips for different thicknesses. You can see here, there are spare lips on the floor over there in those boxes to cover the range that you'll need. That's the uh, panel for the co-extruder here, so you don't need that. This is the polishing stack. So that's what the material goes into uh, and it um, produces the surface finish. If you want different uh, surface finishes, that's possible. Generally, you'll replace this middle roll. There are two spare rolls that come with this line, two additional rolls that will impart a different surface finish on it. Um, this is the thermoregulation unit for the rolls. So this will um, cool the rolls down uh, or heat them up, depending on what your material is. Um, it's got a, a hydraulic power pack here because the closing of the rolls here is done hydraulically, uh, which is important for your material. Uh, the haul off, so this pulls the sheet off the calendar, so it pulls it off. And this is a guillotine, so this will run up to about nine or 10 millimeters thick. If you want to run thicker than that, you're gonna need a crosscut saw. Um, which we can supply also. So that is the extent of a line. In rough figures, you'd be needing 25 meters in length and about five or six meters in width. Um, it, uh, it will produce, depending on your material, 300, 400, 500 kilograms an hour. That's dependent upon its bulk density and on the particular material characteristics. But that's a typical line. That's what it would look like. Um, whichever route you go, it's going to look similar to that. Thanks.